Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and Mr. Pahimar, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, how about you, Direwolf? Good! What are we on, episode 8 of Agrarian Skies, is that correct? I think so. I wouldn't trust I me, though, I'm not very good at counting the episodes. Yes. Pahi fail. Hey, look what I built! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. I built all of this. Like, I built a platform, even. I didn't even, I didn't even outsource the platform building to Pahimar like I usually do. Did you get Soren to do it? No! Whoa! Whoa. Direwolf like builds platforms. Server, yeah, no, I built it all. I even built. I even built the walls. I had to look up how to make cobblestone walls, but I figured. <laughs> <it out. laughs> Direwolf oh, totally I built a knows his vanilla. Too. So I built two platforms. You can oh, also wow. see that I died though, so that was fun. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we have so... five hearts and five lives in the chest over there, so I think. I yeah, think no, you can we be have plenty of lives. I'm just bummed because like I was going on like a no death streak and then as I was building this platform and I was over the void and I was holding shift Minecraft lost focus because like another window popped up and then suddenly Minecraft's like oh you're not holding shift void don't don 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 yeah it was not fun for me but um yeah I've uh I've automated the filling of lava into the cel uh, smelteries so we should have infinite lava going into the smelteries we shouldn't have to worry about that um I want to do automated ore processing this episode that would be good That's because we I have a lot of ore automated ore just piling up yeah no like we have a stupid amount of ore piling up I don't know if you've seen, but like we're having storage issues for the amount of ores that we have, which is kind of like technically I think you could do this with two smelteries, but I wanted to have four just to like deal with the amount of backlog and everything we've got going on. Uh, we've got all this stuff to process, and then we've got all this stuff to process, and then we've got some more stuff building up. Like stuff is everywhere. We've got too much stuff. Oh. Long story short, uh, stuff. So this this flint barrel you have here. Yeah. I asked. We don't need to hoard flint. Yeah, I know. I figured we did. Like, I doubted we needed flint for anything, but, I mean, it's all good. It's okay. Um, it's okay. So do you want to see my plan for the smelteries, or should I just do it and then show you when it's done? Uh, well, this is cooking up, so why don't you show me? Okay. So, long story short, this is going to be sort of an input chest. Any dust or ore or gravel or anything you put in here will automatically be routed to the appropriate smelter, and each smelter is going to be assigned two ores. But we have nine ores total, so one of them is going to have three. So I think, I forget which one I gave three to, but it's around here somewhere. There, there's one of these that has like a third cooker somewhere. I don't know where, but it's around here somewhere. Uh, but long story short, yeah, that's what we're going to have. You know what? Maybe I didn't implement it yet, but there will be a third output on one of these. Um, and what's going to happen is we'll use item ducks. You're trapped. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't fall in there when there's liquid metal, by the way, because it'll hurt you. I heard that's how someone got rubber. Yeah. Apparently you can make a uh, you can bleed yourself in there to get blood in the smeltery. Then you can yeah. take that blood out, craft it with a sa oak sapling and get a, a coagulated oak tree and that'll give you rubber saplings. Oh, that's cool. I know you could get glue in there if you put like horses in, but and that's like I, that might be similar to rubber, but I'm not sure. But anyway, then we're going to have fluid ducts to dump out the appropriate liquids into the appropriate casting basins. And it'll be all kinds of awesome. That's at least the plan. Oh, and then I'll have item ducts pulling out of the casting basins. And I want to have a row of barrels over here that'll store all the iron blocks or, or, or metal blocks. So I'll have like a barrel for iron blocks, a barrel for gold, aluminum, etc. Very nice. Does that sound like kind of a plan? I would say ingots just because then when we need them, we can just come by, grab them, and then immediately go crafting. But yeah, that works. Well, I already did it all as casting basins. And we then need like ingot casts and like all this other stuff. Casting basins are nice and simple and they're faster because you don't have to wait for the cooling of each ingot. Yeah, fair enough. It, it's yeah, going to be it's fine, anyways. And eventually, we're going to move this into AE. So. Yeah, and then we can just auto craft it into ingots if we need to. That's like a good plan. So I'm going to need like nine barrels. I'm going to need a bit of uh, some item ducks and some fluid ducks. You can see I've already kind of got them cooking and ready to go. Um, we're definitely going to need some item ducks. So I'm going to need some tin and some lead. Um, wow. We yeah. have a lot of diamonds. We do have a lot of diamonds. You know what we should do with those diamonds? I'm thinking Builder's Wand. Are you thinking Builder's Wand? Builder's Wand? I'm thinking Builder's Wand because that's what we talked about before we started recording. 
I was going for a whole psychic, like, brainwave thing there, but you just ruined it. Sorry. I ruined all the things. <laughs> Sigh. How's Sorry. that flint over here? I don't know what flint. Oh, um, it might have got spit out of the top there. I was going to say. Like, one like out of a million thing. items drop on the ground. Yeah, so it's you've got that going on. That's pretty ambitious. I'm just, like, totally going to rework the mob spawner. Okay. Do you want to get started with, um, you know what you could do? You, you could, you could, you don't have to really re rework it too much, but what you could do is, um, get grinders installed and, um, on the bottom so that it auto kills the mobs when they fall and then turns them into mob essence. And you could also replace the warder with the conveyor belts. Yeah, that was the plan. Cool. And then you're going to bump it up a level so we can start getting endermen and enderpearls. Yep. See, you're a smart guy. It's going to be challenging, though, because we're in a magic biome, so we're getting these pecks and these wisps. I know. I don't think wisps get caught on conveyor belts. They may or may not. Pecks should, but I don't know about wisps. We'll just kind of have to see. But what should happen is, because they'll be enclosed, once they get to the bottom area, they will be destroyed by the grinders. So even if they get down towards the bottom, it won't be that big a deal. Sounds right. like a plan. All right. All right. Okay. So you're working on that. I'm cooking up some stuff because I'm going to need quite a bit of um, pneumatic servos. I'm going to start crafting that up. Should we, do you want to record this whole bit while I'm working on that and you're working on that? Or do you want to come back in a few minutes? Why don't we come back in a few minutes? Okay. You're the boss. We'll see you guys then. All right, Pahamar. I'm ready to set up my first automation step. So what we want to do is make sure only the right liquids come out of the right things here, because I don't want, like, nickel to get, you know, or something like aluminum to get mixed into this basin if I want iron to be in there. So the way I get this to work is I get a portable tank, place it down next to one of the drains. Now we've already got iron in here, and I'm going to fluid duct it out. And I need a lever for that process. Do you have one? Yeah. So there we go. We got a bunch of liquid in there, right? So it's okay that we have more than we need. I'm just going to scoop up. Now I've got a bucket of molten iron. Nice. nice. And then I can put my fluid duct right here. And I'm going to install my pneumatic servo. And then you can fluid filter this and whitelist it. So now it's whitelisted to only accept molten iron. Nice. So now only molten iron will get pulled out of here. And then I'll enable it to redstone signal low, which means it'll pretty much always pull out. So now any iron that we put into this smeltery will automatically be pulled out into the casting basin. I got some iron. Let's give it a try. Go for it. It's going to take a while to cook up. Yeah, it will. We'll be back in a minute when it's done. All right, so what we should have here now is iron ore gravel about to be turned into liquid iron ore, and it should automatically get pulled out into the basin. Perfect. Very nice. Wow, very that was nice. quick. Yeah, no, it's super fast. Like, the, it, it transfers liquid very quickly, the item, the liquid ducts. It's way faster the than the uh, faucets. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I like the basin, because it's just that much faster than, than the ingots. So what I want to cook up next is some uh, copper in here. So I've got some copper ready to get dumped in. So then I'm going to basically repeat this process many times, nine times, well, eight, I guess, technically, uh, because we're going to need dun 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 and and et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I'm going to be repeating over and over again. Uh, so now you guys have seen that, and that's exciting. Uh, the next stage, while we're waiting for that copper to cook up, what I want to do is get the item ducts running. So I'm going to run underground for a minute and get those going. I'm looking forward to the point when we have elevators, Podmar. As am I. Yeah. I'm cooking up right, some so uh, plastic somewhere. right now so that I can actually get started on that. Cool. Watch out. I'm probably mining underneath your feet somewhere. Eep. All right, so that's our input chest, right, guys? So what we're going to do here, then, is we're going to have an item duct pulling items out of this guy. And then we want them to go into, I think we want them to actually go into here. So I have to probably move the way these fluid ducts are run. 
Yeah, I think I'll move them. That'll probably be the easiest thing to do. But long story short, we're going to run this guy into here. Now my question is, how many different types of material are there per ore? Because there's three types of the dust, right? There's 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 the gravel chunks, the sand chunks, and the dust. And then there's also iron chunks, or iron blocks, or gravel blocks, sand blocks, and dust blocks, right? So there's six, is that correct? Sound about right? I think that's right. So if I'm going to pneumatic servo this guy to whitelist items, that's going to be a problem because six is a lot. Though technically we shouldn't really be doing much. Once we've gotten everything automated, here you go, he dropped that. Um, we shouldn't be doing much with the blocks anymore. Should just be with the chunks. Am I making sense? Yeah. I'm wondering if you have any more fluid ducts, though, because we got this other smeltery we should get some lava into. Yeah, no, I have like 30 of them. I'm good. So I'm just going to teach it this, this, and where's the dust for iron? This. See how much junk we've got? So yeah, save, save these chunks and dusts and stuff, because I think this is what we're going to want to automate not the block version of things. We can automate the block version of things, but we'll need a second item duct per smeltery, which actually wouldn't be the end of the world. We can put it right here. So yeah, if we wanted to, we could do that. I think it's a good idea. Because each smeltery is going to have two, right? So Yeah, because we are going to want here. to have this as automated as possible. All right, so I'll do that then. So we're going to need like all the things. For now, I'm just going to do it like the little pieces, but then we'll expand it to do the blocks as well. And yeah, I know, guys, I'm running everywhere. I'm terrible. By the way, the other thing I've learned. Oh. We are going oh, to want learning. to start. Just... Hey, hey, hey. We are going to want to start stockpiling sand. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We can do that with the pulverizer pretty easily. Okay, so what we're going to do here then, guys. Did I install a servo yet on you? Yeah, it's already installed. So we're going to want to whitelist copper of each kind and iron of each kind. Cool. Uh, use or dictionary, use metadata, ignore NBT. That's fine, I'll tell it to ignore metadata, even though there's never metadata on that stuff. Well, actually, I don't know if he uses metadata or not, so I'm just going to tell it to use metadata. That's cool. Guess he doesn't. And it doesn't look like there's meta there, but that's okay. So, that should be automated now. Um, all we would need to do then to get the blocks version going, do we have all three types of iron and um, copper block form? Bl in block form? Um, yeah. I think so. All right, let's see. I will find out. It certainly, certainly wouldn't be certainly hard wouldn't to be hard. get them. Yeah, no, iron ore dust, iron ore gravel, iron ore sand, maybe? You want to give no, me those copper. flow ducks and I'll hook this guy up? Sand. What's that? You want to give me your oh, flow ducks? ducks? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's not flow ducks. Thank you. Thank you. You got it? Those are item ducks. Those are item ducks. Well, you know what? The sand version is hard because we don't actually, we're not automating the sand version. I need the fluid ducks, not the item ducks. Item ducks. Oh, sorry. Give me the ducks. That's okay. We can, we, can, we can manage to get some sand here. One sec. I think I've got this guy. There we go. Cool, that should work. So then all I need to do is bring the item duct up here.
Um, we'll have this thing pneumatic servoed as well, and we'll do the same thing but with the block version. So we're going to do sand, gravel, dust, sand, gravel, dust. Cool. I like it. And then I just need to steal this guy for a minute. So it's not pulling out the copper. That's good. Just going to borrow this thing for a minute. Whitelist, copper, and that looks pretty good to me. Low. There we go. And I just hooked up the lava to our manual smeltery too, so. Nice. Well done, sir. All right. I think I'm ready. I've done everything that I'm going to do on camera, basically. We're just going to repeat that a lot. So I think at this point, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, Mr. Pahamar. Mr. Direwolf. Whoa, you're close. You want to check out all the stuff downstairs? You've been doing stuff? I've been doing all kinds of stuff. Whoa, look at these. Look at all this duct work. Yeah. So I think I've got everything set up here. Um... Basically, um, each of these guys can accept this one here, the far right one, does three metals. And you can see that by right-clicking with an empty hand on the item duct, and you'll see the filter. So it does copper, iron, and silver. None of those should mix together and make any alloys. Gotcha. I don't think. Gotcha. Um, and then the next one makes, as we can see, tin and aluminum. And the item duct on the left side is handling like the blocks as opposed to the individual little pieces. Nice. Then on the sides here, this is going to be pulling out from the casting basins. I haven't turned them on yet. Um, but once it pulls out from the casting basins, it should make its way over to this dude over here, to all the barrels. I also want to make sure that this guy's in red mode. There we go. So that he doesn't pull out, or he doesn't let items go into this chest. So, so they should not then? require... What's that? Do we need some more servos then? No, we won't need the servos for the barrels because the barrels will only accept items that. I mean, to pull out of the basins. Out of the it doesn't base. look like servos are installed. Oh, I'm going to use levers. They're cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it'll require you know a couple dozen levers, but that's fine. Uh, we got a few of them in our recently sorted inventory. Ooh, all tidied up. Uh, about as much as we care to do right now. Cool. So actually, I'm ready to start piping items out of here. So I'm going to do that now and see what happens. All right. All right. All right. Do you want me to so put we some should items go upstairs and chest? see stuff happening. Uh, well, I'm not going to do the input chest yet. I'm going to just make sure everything's working by testing it first. What's the excitement of that? what we should see. Because I like to test things. And then I test them again. And then I test them again. If I, I like know better, I better. would say that you work in IT. Yeah. It sounds it sounds legit. So if we come over to our barrels, we should eventually see items showing up in them. It might be a little slow because they actually have a long distance to travel. But um, I also set up the filters for all the different type of um, fluid ducts here. So you can see we've got platinum and, and nickel and all that filtering stuff ready. Nice. So everything should be filtering pretty appropriately. So in fact, I can probably flip the input chest on now. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there for now, but that's okay. It's going to take us a little while to clear through our big, huge backlog. But I think once we do, we'll be in good shape. And if we need to, we can increase the size of our smelteries to allow them to smelt more things at once. Sound cool? Sounds perfect. Good deal. So hopefully we're eventually getting some stuff down here. Just waiting for the items to work their way over. I'm pretty sure we had stuff in these casting basins. I don't think I cleared them out, but 
but I mean, we'll find out soon enough. I think the casting think basins, the casting aren't, basins full aren't full enough. Oh, all these casting basins aren't, no. Um, but the ones down here, I activated the levers on, and I think I had stuff in them. Maybe I didn't. Maybe they were empty. So maybe we'll have to put some stuff in. I'm going to get one of each block, and then um, that should fill everything, and then we'll kind of see what happens. So let's see. Gold, silver, lead, iron, copper... Ten. That's six. We have Certus quartz blocks. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay, good. You can uncraft them. I wasn't sure. Uh, aluminum, nickel, and platinum. Those are the nine types of ore. So what I'm going to do is actually, can you clear out this chest for me? The input chest. Just put it anywhere for now, like the chest behind you is fine, or wherever. Just so we can demonstrate that everything sorts properly. So this is testing sorting phase one. So there's nine types of stuff in there. Lever temporarily positioned here, and go. If everything's set up properly, it should dump everything where it belongs, and then it should pull out everything from the casting basins automatically. And they should wind up in the barrels. Should, should, should. So let's see. It takes a minute for everything to route properly, because we don't have high-speed item ducts, but that's fine. And while that's happening, I'm going to go downstairs and install a few more levers. Sounds good. I'll watch up here. Okay. I see tin and aluminum. Nice. That's it so far. That's fine. Silver and copper. Good deal. Aluminum and tin. Silver and copper. Should also have Lead. iron in that Lead. one. And gold. Lead and gold go together. Yep, that's right. Nickel and platinum. Nickel and platinum do go belong together. Yes, that's true. And there should be iron in the same one that has copper and silver. Iron hasn't shown up yet. No? Should be the far right one. Yeah, I'm there. I did put iron in there, right? You would have had to have, because uh, you had the whole first row filled. Oh, you know what? It wound up in the barrel. Because we don't have uh, things in the barrel just yet. Ah. That's fine. So the barrels shouldn't be that close. Let me make sure I have these things categorized correctly. Ah, that's why, because I put copper twice. Aha! See, this is why we test. It's easy to do silly things like I just did. I had two copper ores instead of one gravel and one copper. See, testing important, Bahamar. I never trusted you. Good, you should. Doubt. Whatever. Because I do derpy things all the time. That lead hardened, the gold hardened. That's good. And now the platinum and the nickel looking good. And that stuff should get sorted into the barrels, but we'll find out very shortly if I'm derped up something. Cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. What uh oh? What uh oh? Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> Help me. Uh, one sec. Hang on. You have dangerous you're floors. Dangerous. Hey, look at that. We've got a block of tin and a block of aluminum and lead and shiny. Nice. It's working, Pahamar. It's working. So we should eventually get six. Yeah, gold. All right, nice. cool. Nice. Um, and ferrous. Awesome. I like it. All right. 
So the uh, I had liquid in all the basins ready to go, except for the iron, copper, and uh, silver one, but that's okay. They will uh, eventually get filled up. So input chest should be good to go. I'm going to move this lever downstairs, and now everything should be automatic. I don't think I forgot anything. So if you just start putting things in the input chest, it'll auto automatically handle it all. Cool deal? Looks like it's working. Like it's working. Yeah. Try not to like overload it with iron or anything like all at once. Try and put like even amounts of each ore in while we handle our backlog. All right. So, and you did some chest work? I did, nothing spectacular, but we had a whole bunch of inventory mixed up all over the place and it was really hard to find where things were. So yeah, we so. obviously have an abundance of iron coming through. So I started nice. some iron chests and did some preliminary manual sorting. I like it. Looking good, buddy. Ooh, lots of dust. Wow, why do we have so much dust? It's your uh, your bypass. Oh yeah, cool. Nice. Did you say we want a lot of sand? Yep. Should I make a barrel for sand and put it hook it up to the bypass? I would say that's a great idea. We need sand for hoarding sand as well hoarding. as we need sand for Thomcraft. Okay. I will install that post haste. Once I figure out what post haste means. After haste? Let me know when you figure that out. Okay, good. Will do. Um, I'm probably going to want it's the best way to hook this up. Yeah. Okay, and then item duct here, cover here, chest here. That'll do. All right, that should get sand here first because that's the closest inventory. This is the second closest, so anything that's not sand will go in there. And then if overflowing, then here. Perfect. And that'll, oh yeah, cool. That looks good. So we've got 35 sand in there. We'll just keep an eye out to make sure everything is good. All right, I'm ready, Pahamar, to wrap up this segment, and we'll be back in a minute. Once uh, we got a problem with your system, here. your system here. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's okay. That'll, uh, let's see. What did I do wrong? Pulverized iron ore. Pulverized iron ore. Do I have a setup for that? Once all the barrels are filled, we'll be all right. Pulverized iron ore from X Nihilo. Yeah, that should have landed over here. Don't worry. Once all the barrels are full of stuff, it'll it'll be all right. What else, what's gonna, the one we're missing? Uh, silver? No, nope, we've got silver, so then it would be copper. Right? Yeah, it looks like it's copper. Cool. So if you have a copper block over there, just stick it in and we'll be good. And I think if we shift right click, it'll lock them. So even if we take out the last, it doesn't matter. Cool. Perfect. All right, man, we're good now. It might have been overflow that was causing that. Did you put a whole stack of iron in at the, t at the same time? Uh, it's possible. All right, so what probably happened is it bounced to the barrel as an overflow because it overflowed the um, smeltery. But now that all the barrels are locked, that won't happen anymore. That's just because I was being cheap and didn't want to use nine um, pneumatic servo thingies. Because we don't really need to once we have everything locked like it is now. All right, guys. We'll be back in a moment. Mr. Pahamar. Look at this, man. Look how much metal we've got so far. Dude, we've got 37 blocks of gold. Whoa. Yeah. 34 blocks of iron, 24 blocks of copper. Obviously, we've got more of some things. We've only got six blocks of shiny blocks, but, like... That's a lot of shiny. Yeah, that's a lot of platinum. And have you seen how much we still have to do? Yeah, no, our backlog is ridiculous. 
I uh, collated a bunch of the dusts, and yeah, it's just as full yeah. as it was before. Yeah, so what we've been doing, guys, is making sure that we're putting the blocks in for now because, like, we need to clear the backlog, and blocks are four times faster to smell, obviously, than the individual little bits because, you know, you combine four to one. So that's better. Uh, I also added a little um, backflow protection here. It's got a dense item duct, pumps back into the input chest, so that if it does backflow, it doesn't all get stuck in the pipes and do silly things. It just kind of works its way back into the input chest and then gets pulled out again. No biggie. Um, but yeah, everything seems to be automated. So, Mr. Pahimar, we have fully automated smelting. Woot woot! I think after we clear out our backlog, what we'll do is we'll take this chest, or I guess more properly this one back here, and what I'd like to do is maybe build some barrels for the non-metals, and then we'll set it up so that metals go over to the smelteries to be cooked, like it basically works its way over to the input chest, or it doesn't even need to go into the input chest, and just connect to the same network of item ducts. Mm -hmm. And non-metals will work their way into like barrels. That would be awesome. And, yeah, and then basically it'll just fully auto-sort all the stuff coming out of here. That's that's my plan. Like we've already got like the barrel full of practically full of uh, this stuff. So I think it'll in the end be totally automated. We just need to tweak it a little bit. How'd you make out with uh, the mob farm? Any progress there yet or not yet? <laughs> no progress. I was helping you with the backlog the entire time. Okay. So well, we'll maybe we'll the, work uh... on that next episode. Oh maybe yeah. You can work on it, and I'll work on others. I've already got the rubber all set up. It's actually the next goal. Cool. Do you want to do that, or do you want to start working on automated farming, or do we want to look at some quests, maybe? I mean, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at the quest book. I know. Uh, if we make a vacuum hopper, we can complete a quest. So we need an ender pearl, so that's a mob farm. Uh, yep. And then there's a bunch of MFR stuff. We need to make an auto brewer, and oh, we need yeah. a harvester, a planter, and yeah, okay. Well, the, the cultivating harvest is probably actually a really good thing. Um, oh, and it gives us a flux-infused sickle. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. That'll be good for your tree harvesting over there, because you can use that to chop down those leaves, like, super fast. Nice. Okay, why okay. don't we what? get on that and the mob farm for next episode? Sound like a plan? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, cultivating the harvest. So we'll set up a harvester and a planter, and then we can automate all our food. So that would probably be really nice. Let's go down and look at the farm real quick. Do you want to do that before we wrap up here? Sure. I just want to see what's involved over here with the farm, and then we'll know. Like, do we want to basically have just, what do we have here? Carrots? Oh, you're doing all carrots and a little bit of potatoes? Yeah, carrots, because yeah. with the juicer, it fills up our hunker. Um, before we start figuring out what food we want, maybe we should look at the food quest, too. We could, but man, do I like toast. Toast is better than carrots. Yeah, but toast is actually one of the... Uh... Just judging by the icon, it's one of the quests. That's true. So next we have to build some cutting boards and all this other stuff. I'm sure that stuff's very easy to make. I haven't looked at the recipes for it yet, but I'm guessing it's Now very that we easy. have all that all lovely that. metal over there. Yeah. Now that we have all the everythings. We are soon going to be drowning in items. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're building barrels for all the items we gotta have. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how well that auto creation of dust and all that stuff is working. It's looking pretty it's looking... good. And the auto smeltery is cooking like crazy. I'm loving that. We could, if we need to, bump up the, the height of the smelteries, but I don't think we're going to need to. I think, I think we're going to have to keep an eye on it, but basically my hope is that once we clear our backlog, the smelteries will be able to keep up with the item creation system. And if it can't, then we'll bump up the, the height a little bit and just get more space in there until they can keep up. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, dude. I think it's time to wrap up. This is Palmar signing off for Dire Wolf. Uh, because Thank you. I can. And uh, you guys, take it easy. All right. Take it easy, guys.